We're joined now by Bill Mountford, the head uh, girls tennis coach at South Bend St. Joseph's. And coach, uh, your Indians in the state finals and uh, a grueling match with Center Grove here in the semifinals, but uh, your kids able to get it done. And the most impressive thing that I noticed about your squad, not a senior on the roster, they all get it done, underclassmen, and uh, just thrilling for you, for your kids to be in the state finals. Sure, it's a, you know, it's a great honor for us to represent St. Joseph, but also all of South Bend. And uh, yeah, the girls are, we, no one's a senior, as you mentioned, uh, and we're building. And we really, you know, obviously it's really exciting for us to get to this point. Um, and the girls played very well this morning. Well, if you can, talk a little bit about what this day is like for you as a coach, because we had the rain in the morning, which pushed us inside, then the longer matches between the other two opponents and the opposite side of the bracket. What's it like for you? How do you get the kids motivated and geared up again to go here this afternoon? Well, you know, it's a long day. And you know going into the day, it potentially is two, two matches. Now, you don't anticipate being inside and, and the matches being elongated or, or even longer. So I've been trying to harp on them to, you know, conserve energy, stay hydrated. It's very humid in here. And I've seen enough state championships uh, in other sports where kids are so excited that by the time they get to play, they're, you know, either dehydrated or just plain tired. So we're doing our best to try to stay rested. But we know we got some work to do. Well, Columbus North in the finals, another quality opponent. You had, you certainly had some time to take a look at them. What do you think will be some keys heading into that match? You know, Columbus North has uh, arguably the best player in the state in Caroline Hedrick. Uh, I would say without argument, the best competitor in the state. We know they're fantastic at one and two singles. Don't believe they've ever lost. And I, we also know that they beat Carmel, who, you know, let's be honest, is the beast. Sure. So uh, we feel like we're underdogs, uh, but we're pretty tough competitors and we're ready for them. and Coach Berger and all, all of our team is pretty special. We have two seniors that have played hard for four years and never once had a personal agenda, just a team agenda. So they did this for the team and without the team they wouldn't be here. And that's why it just makes it special regardless of what else we've done. Team comes first. It was difficult. They, South Bend St. Joe came out firing and we weren't really ready for what they were going for and so we just Readjusted our game and got back out there. We basically kept telling her she had to move, she had to believe in herself, and either she could have a car ride home or she could have a state title. So she needed to get out there and get the job done. Yeah, I was a little tired. Um, it was all in my head. Just remain positive and didn't let, get, didn't let my uh, tiredness show or get to me. How does it feel to be a state champion? <laughs> I'm excited. 